John O'Donoghue asks that I write a prayer for the wild soul. I determined to listen to slow radio with the Benedictine monks as I do this. The monk tells me of the two sides of prayer. One side is the everyday and the other side is the silence. Wild soul, peaceful. As a young boy, all was ahead. Most was aimed at play. I could not have enjoyed this time more. Let this stay in my memory. Let this be the foundation for my soul. Let this be the source of joy of life, of beauty, of love. Let these touchstones join me in the present moment. Let them be in the breath I breathe. Let them be in the sights I see. Let them be the notes in the scents I smell. Let them be the music in the sounds I hear. Let them be there in everything I touch, especially when I touch my skin on your skin. I have no need of escape with such a soul within me. I have no need or desire to become someone other. For the old man, also all is ahead, most will be aimed at play. I hope not to have been able to enjoy this time any more than I did. Let this be my guiding light, let this be the nourishment, the food for my soul. Let this be the fountain of joy, of life, of beauty of love. Between the young boy and the old man, life had many pleasures, much was love. Life had many upheavals, much was love. Let me be thankful for the pleasures, let me be thankful for the upheavals, let me be thankful for the love of love. When there were friendships, lovers, children. When there were places, times, variable conditions. Let me be thankful for the friendships, for the lovers, for the children. Let me be thankful for the places, for the times, for the variable conditions. I have known disruption, I have known progress, I have known doubt, I have known certainty, I have known trouble, I have known peace, I have known stress, I have known calm, I have subscribed to the silence, I have thought to say this is a prayer, I am grateful to be able to write this prayer.